Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. Today we are going to see a basic problem on projection of cylinder. Initially I will be explaining the question, then I will be telling the given data, then I will be telling how to draw the diagram. A cylinder of diameter 30 mm and axis length 50 mm. So diagram which we are going to draw is a cylinder. So cylinder, so circle diameter is, uh, circle is the base diagram. So diameter is 30 means radius is 15 mm. So we are going to draw a circle of radius 15 mm. Axis height of the cylinder is 50 mm is freely suspended so this sum comes under the category of freely suspended string sum by means of a string from one of its base point so the circle we will be drawing dividing into eight parts right so we can give any one point as the base point with its axis parallel to vp if the axis is parallel to vp means then it's always inclined to hp so base diagram which we are going to draw we will be drawing in hp so the circle and cylinder is resting in hp True shape of the diagram can be seen only from the top view. So just imagine this as a cylinder. What I telling is this cylinder is resting on HP. So true shape will be uh, we can see the true shape of this cylinder that is circle only from top view. So we are going to draw the circle in HP. And then uh, then what else they are asking us? Just we need to draw the draw draw and show the projection. And now we will be seeing how to draw the diagram step by step. So first step is we need to draw a reference line and name it as XY. So vertical plane will be above and horizontal plane will be below. As we know before, we need to draw the circle in HP. So top view, we can get the or the, we can see the true shape of the cylinder only in the top view. When we see from the top, we can clearly see the circle. So just draw the circle on HP. So diameter is 30 mm means radius will be 15 mm. So take a radius of 15 mm, take your compass, radius of 15 mm, keep the center here and just draw the circle. And you can divide the circle into 8 equal parts as you know earlier. And divide the uh, circle into 8 equal parts and top face of the circle, will be, top face of the cylinder will be an alphabet and the bottom face will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And just like that, when you see from your friendly, you will be seeing a rectangular face. So just draw the front view here and height a clearly given as axis length is 50 mm. So in cylinder, <coughs> Actually, we won't be seeing this visible edges and all. In cylinder, there is only axis alone. For diagrammatic purpose, we are drawing it, but actually, these edges and all we can't see in cylinder. We can see only the axis length. So, this is the axis, and we have to draw the front view. So, axis length is 50 mm. Now, we are just going to tilt this. So, this sum comes under the category of 3D suspender. So, what we are going to do is, we are just going to uh, tie a string at one end of the base corner, not base corner, at any point, either it can be point 0.1 or point 0.5, any base, any point we can uh, just uh, tie a string. So one end will be one dash and other end will be the uh, center of the axis because for prism and cylinder, the formula will be h divided by 2. So whatever the height is, half of it will be the uh, distance from the axis, that is base, from base to g dash. So if you want, if you want to mark the point G dash means what we need to do is just divide this 50 divided by 2. So 50 divided by 2 means 25 mm. Okay. So from the axis for 25 mm we need to mark a point and we need to just join a line. So this line is called as a string and we just going to hold this string upside down. That's what we're going to see. We're going to do. Just see here. Here we'll be getting some angle. So <coughs> first step will be one dash digit G dash right. So since I don't have space, I drawn this diagram <coughs> very small, but you have to draw the diagram exact on same dimension as here. So just measure 1 dash g dash and keep at some distance, uh, see to it that the diagram should not touch xy line. So try to draw as height as you can. Okay. So just measure 1 dash g, g dash and uh, you will be having approximately 3 or 4 centimeter and just place as it is. Then measure this angle for drawing this phi dash. If you want to draw this line means we require this angle. Keep your projector here as a 1 dash g dash as your base. Just measure the angle. For that angle, keep your projector at this point, 1 dash g dash. 1 dash g dash as your center. For that angle, you draw this, this, you draw this line. The length of the line will be how much length you are having here. How much length you are having for same length you have to draw. Next thing is if you want to draw a dash, just measure this angle. Okay. Just keep your projector and measure this angle, the angle between this line and this line. So you'll be getting some angle, right? So just keep it. Now keep your product at 1 dash g dash. For that angle, draw that uh, draw a line for 50 mm. 
so distance we know only angle we need to mark okay so for that angle you just draw a line for 50 mm now we draw got the point uh, this point and this point the third point only we didn't get it so it's can be easily got take your compass measure from a dash to e dash so from a dash try to cut an arc measure phi dash to e dash okay you will be having some distance from phi dash try to cut an arc these two arc will be meeting at one point mark that point and name it as e1 dash now just close all the box you will be getting exactly whatever shape here you will be getting the exact shape and if you want to mark b dash or c dash or d dash just measure like uh, as it is and draw here just measure this distance and mark here just measure this distance distance between a dash and c dash so same distance a dash and c dash so if we got the axis right this axis will be passing through g dash so we have got this diagram similarly you have to mark all the lines this line this line and axis you have to mark it then what you going to do is just try to extend all the points vertically downwards and all the points vertically uh, horizontally so these two lines will be meeting at one point so wherever they are meeting just mark those intersection points so we need to identify the intersection point that is the this phi and this phi will be meeting at this point this 4 and this 4 will be meeting at this point likewise we have to mark 1 2 3 4 same thing for a b c d now we marked all the intersection point we need to now draw the hidden lines around now we mark uh, need to mark the hidden lines it's very easy for drawing hidden lines what we need to do is just check whichever corner or whichever edge is nearer to the x y line just see here only this e da e1 dash is nearer to the x y line so whatever connecting to no time machine now just check whatever point uh, nearer to x y line so e1 dash is nearer to x y okay so whichever uh, corner or edge which is nearer to x y you have to mark it so this is the one and which are connected to this is hidden so when we see from top just see here when you see from top we can't see the entire thing that is half of it we can't see whatever inside the bracket we can't see so the, those things are not we need uh, just need to Draw, draw hidden lines. See here, we, you can't see H, you can't see G, you can't see F, you can't see H. Just mark those alone for hidden. So just you can see one half of the circle, but this half of the circle you can't see. So just mark it. Just mark draw the hidden lines for this half of the circle. This half of the circle, this half you can see, and this circle, entire circle you can see. Okay, cylinder you can see. So just draw the uh, circle. This entire part. with visible edges and this is visible and this is visible for cylinder we need to draw the axis axis is from center of this circle to center of that circle we don't need we need to draw an axis so dimension is see here we have to dimension the height axis length 50 mm and diameter as 530 so diameter symbol is very very important heading is projection of cylinder so here height of deck should be 10 mm and at last we need to write all dimensions are in scale only stone should be written in the right bottom corner height of deck should be 5 mm If you feel this video is useful means then you can share with your first year students and friends and uh, do subscribe my channel mechanical motivator then only you can receive all the videos which i upload thanks for watching this video have a great day